Shout out to all the fuzzy socks out there for keeping our feet nice and warm. Do you know what Web3 is, friends? Yes, crypto's all the scam. I want you to teach you something. I'm going to teach you something right now, but don't take it too far because you're going to use it to get too bullish at the top. So don't think that it gives you an excuse to go turbo long leverage with everybody else because poopy town awaits. That's why you got to get long on spot instead. Lady Tiffany Fongles, who was caught in the love triangle between Soy Bankman Freed and Martin Soy Relly. Two of them, soy consumers. She didn't know which one to pick, so the judge picked for her. The judge sentenced Soy Bankman Freed into jail to eat cucumbers for the rest of his life. And she asked a question. She goes, if you put a water pistol to my head, I would still not be able to tell you what Web3 is. So I'm just giving you some conviction, friends, for the future because, yes, it's going to get tough out there because there's a lot of weak hands with us. It's not that crypto sucks or our founders suck or anything sucks. The only thing that you have to look at is the people around you. There's just too many weak hands, and the government's not here to print and debase and pump our bags up. In the stonk market, they do, but guess what? They've even taken that too far. We'll speak about that shortly in another video. Web1. What was Web1? I've already made videos on this. That's why you like, subscribe, belly button, or I've got to remind you. Web1 was literally reading only web pages. You go to a website, Yahoo. You go check out what's the weather. That is read only. GeoCities, who remembers that? Used to have little Dragon Ball Z GIFs and cute website creation tools. That's Web 1.0. What's Web 2? Okay, so Web 2 was not only reading but now you can write, you can post online, Facebook, MySpace, social media, Twitter Roonies, YouTubes. YouTubes is Web2 because you and I, you can post comments, right? If you are a non-squirrel or a squirrel, post and confirm friendship in the comment section because that's Web 2.0. That was the 2008 boom. You remember Michael Saylor, friends, Michael Saylor, some would say Michael Chad Saylor for his DJ long position in Bitcoin. He got long on Web 2.0 through Apple. That's how he made like 50x or whatever it was he made in Apple or 100x, some big beast move. It was turbo bullish on them in the early 2000s. Now, we upgraded from Web 2.0. We are now in Web 3. So remember, Web 1 was reading only. Web 2 was reading and writing. Now Web 3 is reading writing and ownership. That's the blockchain. That's cryptocurrency. That's the crypto technology itself. You read, you write, but now you can own something. You can own a picture of fluffy slippers. You can send somebody a store of value. All right. It might be just a smelly fart in a jar represented on NFT, but it doesn't really matter. You can send it to them. You can transfer it around. That's ownership. Every single website that's worth a dime might have a crypto wallet plugin in the future where you'll be able to log in, pay money, you own a subscription. You might even be able to transfer your subscription around. There might be websites where they only have like, you know, 10,000 memberships out there and you can like go to a public market and sell the membership. And the only way for you to log in and read the secret information in this website is that. That's exactly how news websites will work. They just won't give a 10,000 scarcity limit, they'll let uh, any number of people join, okay? So crypto is Web3, all right? Crypto is Web3, that's why we're here. That's the problem it solves. It upgrades the whole internet. Now, you're asking me, but sir, what about our Ponzi coins? That's right, that's right. That's why I mentioned, you are my Habibi, forever. What about, what about our Ponzi coins? Where do they fit in? Well, we don't know <laughs> because we do the reading and the writing and the ownership and digital pirate land, cyberspace, and we're hoping that cyber cities get built out and fleshed out in the future. And we're kind of hoping that the market keeps giving a bid to it over time where we don't just send it all to zero without getting destroyed. That's what we're all praying for, friends. Remember, we're just lucky this stuff even works, okay? So that's how it all worked. And look, you can own these assets 
that you interact with and you can transfer them around. That's like, it solves the biggest problem. That's why we're all here in crypto. Now, what's interesting is this type of information I'm posting to you now, guess when I was posting it, friends? When you needed it the most, the bear market, okay? The bear market. People were selling crypto down here and they were going, ah, FTX, ah, the soy, the soy. There's so much soy and vegetables. And I was saying, look, man, or woman or squirrel or duck, Crypto solves too many problems. You shouldn't be selling your bags down here. Nothing's changed. The fundamentals are strong. I know you can't imagine it right now because the candles went green. But back then, yes, that's what was going on. I was saying, man, we solve too many problems. We are Web3. We are the next innovation. But, you know, friends, because the candles were red, people said, well, how do you know it's this coin? Why this coin? They'll just do something else. JP Morgan, the mosquitoes have got another chain. The bug eaters. That's what they were saying. But... That's why, once again, I made all my videos telling you these people don't know anything. I'm a peanut brain. They have normal-sized brains. All they're describing is that the monthly candle is red, so they're going to feel bad. So they're just going to say, yap, 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 flap their lips and talk whatever comes out. So what I'm now telling you, friends, because I'm living in the future. All right, I'm actually from the future, believe it or not. I'm not even thinking about this bull market coming. Oh, we've already solved that. We, I've already I've figured out our odds i figured out what we need to do, how to make money no matter what, and the signs to look for. It's just a waiting game from now. I'm already thinking about the next bear market, <laughs> right? I don't know where it's going to be, but I'm just I'm thinking about the stories of the next bear market. Why? It's because we want to be ready to go freaking mega hard. Because I'm telling you right now, the next bear market is going to shock everyone because it's not going to happen how everybody thinks. It's not going to be the stock standard. It's going to be something else. Maybe the four-year cycle break, something else is going to break. And the returns are going to be less. So you're going to really be surprised by how many people wreck themselves because you don't have much margin forever, all right? You can't get this wrong. You can't because you're not getting your 50x anymore. And people are going to, it's going to become more apparent to them as we move forward in time. They, people are going to realize, oh my gosh, liquidity and market caps matter. Oh my gosh, the crypto growth rates that I thought were infinite, are actually not infinite. We're actually correlated to the stock market. All these realizations that people have not had yet, they're going to realize it later on. That's why I'm telling you, you can't buy something at a dollar and expect $100 out of it now. You might be, you're only buying something for a dollar expecting like five bucks to $10 in the next bull market, bear market, okay? In the, buying the next bear market. So I already know how this game is going out. The market hasn't figured it out yet, and that's good. That means we have an edge. Don't forget. Have you heard of the crowd, friends? The crowd is always wrong. Look at Blockchain Backer. Blockchain Backer, he doesn't even know I exist, but he's a friend of the channel, okay? Blockchain Backer at the very top of Bitcoin, very top, he said, a poll. What comes next? 100K Bitcoin or 20K? Guess what? It's 34,000 votes here, friends. 34,000. Everyone said 100K. Look what happens next down to Goblin Town. And then look what he did at the very, very bottom. He made another poll. What comes next? Are we going up to 40K or down to 12K? Look at these 65% of people once again thought 65, 65% thought 12K. Look, this was interesting, right? Look at, look at the poll though. At the top of the bull market, 34,000 votes. At the bottom of the bear, 18,000. This is on Twitter as well. You can tell, eh, no one wants to vote. Everyone's gone. And look what it did, pop. The crowd was wrong. The crowd was wrong. You can tell. I'll tell you now, friends. The crowd's wrong, man. The crowd's wrong. And please look at this. This is the tough part. All right. You just remember this. You see here, because you're looking at Bitcoin, many people will think, oh, that's okay. If it goes down, I'll just get out of my altcoins here. The problem is, you see your altcoins here? They are down minus 70% from their top in this area. I've shown you many times. Showed you Doge showed you Hex, showed you uh, Chainlink, showed you Polkadot, Soylana, FTM, Fanta, everything, doesn't matter what it is, they're down 70%. Many coins, XRP, everything. Which means you never sold up here. Why? Because it was nowhere near your target. So if you had a portfolio up here, let's say you had a portfolio up here of 300,000, you are expecting your altcoins to go up with Bitcoin to give you 1 million. That's where you're expecting in the next six months. Instead of what happens, we go down. Now, down here, 
your 300,000, remember friends, you've only got 30% of that now. Okay, you've only got, you've only got 90,000 here. Okay, you're 90K. And here's the thing, you might say, oh, just get out. No, you don't know what's coming next, man. You don't know what's coming next. It went down again. And that's how you had the minus 95% drop everywhere. So your 90K is now only worth 30K. And if you're in something like Hex, you dropped even lower, it's down worth like 10K. All right, so that, that's how you drop 96, 97%. See what happens, friends? See this move here? That first move, this move here, this is minus 70% in altcoins. So what I'm saying is, if euphoria comes, even though you're expecting a different price, if the crowd is saying they're stacked, look at your portfolio, divide it by three, that's the next pit stop. Minus, that's what minus 70% is. So like I said, you might have 300K, you expect a million, you're looking at it, you're like, oh my gosh, if I don't act something, this 300K, if, I'm, if the crowd is wrong, which they always are, uh, it's gonna be 100K soon. And it was. And then guess what, you don't act again, that 100K becomes like 30K. So even less, that's your minus 90%. So this is how the game works. And that's why my friends, I've told you, your friend Somi here will never have a price target the same as the crowd for any coin I own. You can go and suck yourself, I don't care, all right? I am not doing any price target with the crowd. I've done my research, I have told you so many stories, and you've seen it play out time and time again, evidence over and over again. In these extreme points, you get to see what happens. Now you know why, when you look at a chart and you go, oh, well, everybody's an idiot for holding too long, are they? No, they're not. They're not stupid, they're not idiots. Don't call them that, don't judge. They held on for a reason. Friends, why do you think people didn't exit at this green box? I'll tell you why. It's because if they did, somebody, Convince them you are not bullish enough. That's right. They said, hey, you are simply not bullish enough. We had infinite QE. We had 0% interest rates. We had 16 trillion in negative yielding bonds. Elon Musk bought it. He bought 1 billion BTC with Tesla. You are not bullish enough. That's what they said. Guess what happened? Turns out you actually weren't bearish enough. However, I'm bullish in our friendship. Keep your back straight. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button on, and have some orange juice after this. Catch you soon.